Hello everyone, my name is Lawrence from Liberty Africa Safaris, Kenya, that's in East Africa. I'm going to read you a story about the hot hippo. Hippo was hot. He sat on the river bank and gazed at the little fishes swimming in the water. If only I could live in the water, he thought, how wonderful life would be. So he walked and he ran and he strolled and he hopped and he lumbered along until he came to the mountain where Guy lived. Guy was the god of everything and everywhere. Guy told the animals to live on the land and the fishes to live in the sea. Guy told the birds to fly in the air and the ants to live under the ground. Guy had told Hippo he was to live on the land and eat grass. Please, O oh great guy, God of everything and everywhere, I would so much like to live in the rivers and the streams, begged Hippo hopefully. I would still eat grass. Aha! thundered the voice of Guy. So you say, but one day you might, just might, eat a fish to see if it tasted good. And then you would eat all my little fishes. Oh no, I promise I wouldn't, say Hippo. Aha! thundered the voice of Guy. So you say, but how can I be sure of that? I love my little fishes. I would show you, promised Hippo. I will let you look in my mouth whenever you like to see that I am not eating your little fishes. And I will stir up the water with my tail so that you can see I have not hidden the bones. Aha! thundered the voice of Guy. Then you may live in the water, but, he pointed, but you must come out of the water at the night and eat grass so that even in the dark, I can tell you, you are not eating my little fishes. Agreed? Agreed, sang Hippo happy. And he ran all the way home until he got to the river where he jumped in with a mighty splash. And he sank like a stone because he couldn't swim. And he stirs up the bottom of by wagging his tail so that guy can see he has not hidden any fish bones. And now, and then he floats to the top and opens his huge mouth ever so wide and says, Look, guy, no fishes. The end of the story. <laughs>